Well, here we are again on a beautiful Saturday afternoon next to the River Danube again. And I do believe I mentioned in my video the other day about changes, about the things that are going on in the world and the aftermath of Brit exit is being felt by everyone. Nobody believed it would happen, did they? But did you see the aftermath? The financial markets were in chaos. The currency markets in chaos. People are running around the UK saying, it's your fault, it's your fault. What have we done? What have we done this? Why have we done this? Now come on everyone. Wake up to the reality. It's a decision that people have made for change. They're tired of what is or what was and they want change and this is sometimes very f scary for people that don't understand that don't want to understand that don't believe it's right but change is good change is good for everyone and change is good for everything and we talk so much in spirituality about letting it go letting things go and when you apply that to a nation they're letting go of something that no longer serves them. Is that a message, spiritual message? Of course it is. They're letting go of something that no longer serves them. And those that believe the campaigns were run on fear, well, probably. But to move forward in life, we need to reclaim ourselves. To move forward on our soul path we need to reclaim ourselves we need to get to the core of who we are and maybe that's the underlying message to what's happened in the united kingdom they want to get back to their inner self their inner child so spirituality can apply on the most grand scale possible when you look at things from a different perspective and that is what spirituality is about, no? Take away the ego, take away the rules and regulations, and go into oneself. I mean, I'm a British passport holder. I was born and bred in the United Kingdom. And one of the main reasons I decide not to go back to the United Kingdom is because, just because, Now I believe they have an opportunity to change direction, to build a new future, and to really unify, solidify what is theirs. And maybe many people say that the campaigns were fought on fear of immigration. Well, the United Kingdom has been a multicultural society for many centuries, many decades. And whilst I don't advocate the, the British Empire or the old colonial exercises, that's what was the history, that is the history of the United Kingdom. And they've always had an open door policy to those territories that they colonized. So the United Kingdom has always been multicultural. I remember the days when there were riots in my own hometown, in Bristol. This spread to London and then Birmingham and this, this happened in the 80s. When I was growing up, they were fighting, fighting for their minority rights. So, there are many ways one can look at it, but I prefer to look at it changes for the better. And the direction that that one country is going of 70 million or 63 or whatever many millions of people there are they've chosen that direction and those that are on the outskirts of that the smaller nations within the united kingdom like scotland ireland wales northern ireland and wales they have to decide their own future too and you can see the headless chickens running around already it's ridiculous let it go let change happen 
and let change have a chance because there is a brighter future there's a brighter future for for everyone it doesn't stop us from loving one another it doesn't stop us from hugging one another or shaking hands with one another it actually changes nothing it doesn't change the status of the United Kingdom today it's chosen to leave a relationship that no longer serves it and those negotiations will go on for years and years a minimum of two years so let it grow let it prosper yes it has to, to go through the consequences of change and you and I know what we've gone through on a personal level on a physical level when we woke up when we agreed to change ourselves so there's no difference so the reality is the reality we move forward we share that common vibe of love we send love and healing to everyone around the world we're all brothers and sisters we're all related somewhere somehow just check your DNA see where you're really from anyway that's my thought for today as for the energies yes there's big change coming and I've said this for many many months we can say that this is the beginning of change of humanity perhaps it's certainly the change of geopolitical situation within Europe and the rest of the world and that change is needed and many will not understand to go through change there needs to be chaos there needs to be disorder there needs to be anger there needs to be frustration there needs to be tears there needs to be all of these things exactly the same as what you and I went through and not continue to go through on a personal level we can only get better through healing and that's what's going on believe in that change because it's coming it's coming to a place near you soon anyway that's it for today sending you love and light I'm wishing you a wonderful weekend. No matter where you are in the world, we are all one. Namaste.